All right, so let us start with the question with the, on the uniform distribution. So before we start the question on uniform distribution, let us quickly recall what is a uniform distribution we have studied. So the uniform distribution, we all know that it is a continuous category, so represented with f of x, and that will be integration from a to b, 1 divided by b minus a <coughs> dx. All right, this is a uniform distribution, which is defined between a less than x less than equal to b and zero otherwise so this that part we know this is uniform distribution so let us see the question what we have a subway train on a certain line run every half an hour between midnight and six in the morning okay there is a subway train which runs every half an hour means in every 30 minutes it runs between the midnight midnight 12 to morning 6 o'clock okay what is the probability that a man entering at the station at random uh, what is the probability that a man entering the station at random time okay during this period will have to wait at least 20 minutes he has to wait at least 20 minutes the question is straightforward there is a train which runs every half an hour between 12 to 6 in the morning if a man enters in the station randomly at time between this time that is 12 to 6 so what is what we have to find the probability that the man has to wait at least 20 minutes that is either 20 minutes or more time he has to wait all right <clears throat> so to answer this question first thing what you have to do you have to first define the random variable x so i will just denote let x denotes the waiting time so i will take the x which denotes the waiting time waiting time obviously waiting time is in minutes so waiting time in minutes all right for the next train for the next train okay i'll just need some space so for the next train uh under the assumption i will take the assumption that uh under the assumption under the assumption under the assumption that man arrives that the man arrives at station that man arrives at station at at arrive at station randomly randomly between midnight to six in the morning so that is mentioned in the problem itself all right so if that is the scenario whenever the problem comes like this like uh, if we have the given ranges like between some time to some time and something like that those problems are definitely comes into the category of uniform distribution so that is a clear cut scenario of uniform distribution therefore you can write that as your x is uniform distribution between 0 to 30 now why have taken 30 that because train runs every half an hour but time is not important that much important part here that whether it runs between midnight 6 to midnight to 6 in the morning or morning 6 to midnight that doesn't matter the only part which is required is that every half an hour the train will run so from 0 to 30 will be your 
a value and b value the upper limit and the lower limit so x is the uniformly distributed distribution of the train from zero hour to half an hour okay so i have taken in that in minutes now we have to find the probability that it has to wait that man has to wait at least 20 hours so then what we have to find we have to find the probability of x that is should be greater than or equal to 20 at least 20 hours so to answer this question we have a value here we have b value here so we know the formula of uniform distribution that is 1 by b minus a so i will just plug that here limit i will put later so that will be 1 divided by 30 minus 0 into dx now what is the limit here the upper limit will go is up to 30 or 30 minutes and the lower limit will be 20 here because we are finding at least 20 hour. all right and the x value will lie between 0 to 30. So now I think that part is clear. So this will become the limit 20 to 30 and this will be 1 divided by 30 dx. So 1 by 30 will come out and we have 1 remaining so integration of 1 will be x and the limit is 20 to 30. So when you answer this question this will be 1 by 30 into upper limit minus lower limit so you will get 30 minus 20 which is 10 so the answer is 1 by 3 so roughly what it means the man has to wait at least 20 minutes so what is the probability for that the probability is 0 0.333 something 0 0.333 so if you multiply this with 100, you will get in percentage. All right, so 33% approximately is the chance that the man who enters at the station randomly between midnight to morning six has to wait at least 20 minutes, 33% chance. That is the answer. Any doubt in this particular problem? If any doubt is there, please uh, put in the comment section or raise your hand. I will unmute you. All right. So that part is clear. Let us see the next part. The total duration of football game in the major league happened in 2011. I think I best known that that football game happened is in 2011, which was known as N Power Football League. If you are football freak, they can know better than me. Okay, so this season is the, the football in 2011 season is uniformly distributed. They mentioned clearly between 447 hours to 521 hours inclusive. Okay, so total that talk, talking about in bulk the overall C, series. So based on that, they want to answer a few questions. What is A and B and describe what they represent write the distribution which means we have to write the uniform distribution we have to find the mean and standard deviation and then we have to find the probability that the duration of game for a team for this 2011 season is between 480 and 500 hours the overall time is 447 to 521 but for certain team we have to find what is the probability that the entire game duration was 480 hours to 500 hours so let us answer this question so before we'll go ahead let us once again repeat the uniform distribution what we have so uniform distribution is f of x uh, defined as i will write in different manner this time 1 by b minus a where a is between x is between a to b and zero otherwise all right so here they have already mentioned that your x is uniformly distributed between a to b they have already mentioned 
that is uniform distribution so the first answer will be straightforward what is your a and b value your a value will be 447 hours and b value is 521 hours so here your a value is 447 and b value is uh, 521 and what they represent they represent the overall time for the football league session they represent the overall time anyway so now next we have to write the distribution so what is the distribution becomes your f of x will be equal to 1 divided by 521 minus 447 between 447 less than equal to x less than equal to uh, 521 and 0 otherwise all right so your f of x becomes what is 521 minus 447 74 so this will be 1 divided by 74 between this range 447 less than equal to x less than equal to 521 and 0 otherwise so this is a probability distribution we have written now what is c let us check find the mean and standard deviation all right so the mean of uniform distribution is what a plus b divided by 2 as i meant told you last class this formula i have given so a plus b means you have to just add 5 sorry this will be 447 plus 521 divided by 2 so how much approximately i need to calculate 447 plus 521 divided by 2. So it is coming 484. So the mean is approximately 484 hours. To answer the standard deviation, first you have to calculate the variance. So we find the variance first. So variance formula is B minus A whole square by 12. So B minus A whole square means that will be 521 minus 447 whole square divided by 12. So 521 minus 447 already we know it is 74. So 74 square divided by 12. So this is 456 something. 456.3333. So I will write 33. So the standard deviation becomes square root of 456.33, which is nothing but how much? 21.36 uh, approximately, 21.36 hours. This is also in hour, this is also in hour. So next what we have to find, what is the probability that the duration of the game for the team for some session, 2011 session, is between 480 and 500 hours. All right. So we have to find the probability between how much? 480 to 480 less than x less than 500. They have told strictly between. So we cannot put less than equal to. It is strictly between. Okay. So we cannot put equal to. So now what will happen? Your limit will become 480 to 500. Now can you tell me what will become here? <clears throat> 1 divided by what you will get? What you have to take inside? <clears throat> mm. 
no no kritika not for it even on always this this is whatever they are asking in between that is your limit that is sure but what you have to put inside is your probability density function which is this so always inside whatever your probability density function you have defined that you have to take so you have to take 1 by 74 itself so that will be 1 by 74 dx don't be get confused okay so that will be 1 by 74 so definitely you will get x inside so when you apply the limit you will get 500 minus 480 So 500 minus 480 is 20. So you will get 20 divided by 74, or in decimal, how much approximately? 20 by 74 is 0.27. 0.2702. That is the probability. And Kritika, one more thing you understand. Uh, when we talk about the continuous category, whether it is 480 less than x less than 500 or it is less than equal to or doesn't matter. Limit will always goes from 480 to 500 only because it will automatically take care of less than equal to as well. That is the thing which you have to remember. So don't do this mistake. Don't write the limit from 481 to 499. No, because you are dealing with integration, it will automatically taken care whether it is less than or less than equal to. So that is always remember. So then, what difference does it inclusive word make? Uh, no, no, no. It doesn't because it's a it's, you are dealing with the integration part here, right? so whenever you put integration you start from 480 to 500 it will automatically 481 and 410 is covered in this right so there is no need of putting 481 to 499 because when you plot this between 480 to 500 the probability density function is defined for 48 for this 171.74 so we will start from this point to this point Get the point. In continuous category, we do not write from 481 to 499. Never. Your 481 will start from here, and 499 will somewhere come here. It will be automatically taken care with the integration because it's a continuous category. If it was a discrete category, yes, I would have been jump to the next category. But in continuous, we won't do that. Please remember it. It can be anything, any value you take. Either you take in general, as I have told you to go back to previous slides. Either it is a less than b or less than equal to b. For anything, your limit will be from a to b only. Straight forward, no confusion. Okay, whether it is less than or whether it is less than equal to doesn't matter. Limit will always go from a to b. This is the part you have to remember. All right. Let's see what we have next. Okay. <clears throat> okay. If x is uniformly distributed between two hundred to five hundred, find its PDF. So it's straightforward. So you can easily find out the PDF. So your PDF f of x will be what? Two fifty one by two fifty minus two hundred, so that will be fifty between two hundred less than equal to x less than equal to two fifty and zero otherwise. So probability density function is straightforward. Now we have to find the probability of x greater than two thirty, and also find the mean and standard deviation. can you quickly tell me what is the probability of x greater than 230 quickly what is the what is the limit start from it the limit the lower limit because it is greater than 230 so lower limit will be 230 and upper limit is anyway we are up to 250 so it will be up to 250 1 divided by 
dx. So just calculate this. This is 1 by 50. And 250 minus 30, how much you will get? 20. So this will be 20 by 50. Approximately how much you will get? 0.4. Just check it. 2 by 5, no? 0.4. All right. Uh, can you tell me the mean value quickly? A plus B by 2. And I want standard deviation, so for that I need variance also. So that will be B minus A whole square by 12. Tell me mean value and variance value. Okay, mean is 225. Very good, Ayappa. What about variance? <clears throat> B minus A whole square. B, B, this is your B value, this is your A value. So variance is 208.3, very good. So what is the standard deviation? Square root of 208.33. So tell me the standard deviation value. 208.33. Which is approximately coming as 14.43. Just check this out. Yeah. So, in uniform distribution, if anyone has any sort of doubt, please tell me before I go ahead. Whenever the problem comes like this in a subway train or any bus, between some time to some time, always put this in category of uniform distribution. Don't scratch too much of head because they all lies in uniform distribution between two ranges. Otherwise, sometimes they'll match in the problem itself, so there is no need to think which kind of distribution you are working on. All right. So can we go ahead for the next part? Let us see the question on exponential distribution then. So before I go to the exponential distribution, let us quickly recall what is the exponential distribution PDF is known is all about. So f of x is defined as alpha e power of minus alpha x and 0. This will be when, when x is greater than or equal to 0 and this is otherwise. This is the <coughs> PDF of exponential distribution. Uh, what is the mean? The mean is 1 by alpha and variance is 1 by alpha square so this part we know all right so let us see the question what we have the kilometer run in thousand of kilometer without any sort of problem in respect of a certain vehicle okay let let that might be a car or bike whatever it's a random variable having a pdf they have directly given you the pdf all right, of a certain vehicle which run thousand of kilometer without any trouble. Okay, so this is the probability, probability density function given for a certain vehicle which will run thousands of kilometer without giving any sort of problem. This is what the statement means. If this PDF is given, then what finds the probability that the vehicle is trouble free? At most 2,000, 25,000 kilometers, at least 25,000 kilometers, and between 16,000 to 32,000 kilometer. Okay, so to answer this question, here they have already given you the PDF, so we have to use this part directly. So we can almost start the problem. So first, I will define the random variable x. 
So x is the random variable which represent which represent a um, vehicle a vehicle run trouble free trouble free uh, in thousands of kilometer in thousands of kilometer or i can just put in that in multiple of thousand of kilometers let me put it this way multiple of thousand of kilometer trouble free in multiple of thousands that's what that is in terms of kilometer all right so first thing what we have to find we have to find at most 2000 or 25000 kilometer so what you have to find here you have to find the probability of x what is the at most means what do you mean by at most less than equal to or greater than equal to <clears throat> what do you mean by at most at most what will put here vadiraj yeah less than equal to 25000 km but i'll put only 25 because x i have already taken in the multiple of 1000 okay so there is diff difficult for me to put 20 you can put even 25000 also doesn't matter but i'll put 25 it is in terms of 1000 only so that implies what is the limit So your lower limit will be zero and upper limit will be 25. And just put the PDF given. So one by 40 e power of minus x by 40 in dx. So let us integrate this part. So when you integrate this one by 40, you can bring it outside. So remain with zero to 25 e power of minus x by 40 dx all right so this is 1 by 40 now i'm integrating the integration of e power of minus x by 40 and the coefficient of x which is minus 1 by 40 will go in the denominator right you know all that Whenever we differentiate, the coefficient of x will go in multiplication. Whenever we integrate, the coefficient of x will go in denominator, right? And the limit is zero to 25. So one by 40 and one by 40 get cancels out, minus will go here. So this will become minus of e power minus x by 40. I can put the limit here itself. So upper limit will be minus 25 by 40 minus the lower limit will be e power minus 0 by 40. All right. So this will become minus when you multiply, this will become plus. So e power of 0 is 1. So this will become 1 minus e power minus 25 by 40 so you can just quickly calculate this in calculator so what is the answer for 1 minus e power minus 25 by 40 so it is coming around 0 0.4647 0 0.46 so 46 percent chance that the vehicle is trouble free for at most 25,000 kilometers now what is the next part we have to find probability of at least so x will be greater than or equal to 25 you can see here it is written vehicle should be trouble free for at least 25,000 kilometers so at least means greater than or equal to then what is the limit for this you have to go from 25 to infinity 
your lower limit will be from 25 and then it has to go up to infinity so this is not the good way of doing it because it leads to a lot of complication when integration infinity involves so i will write this as 1 minus probability of x less than 25 so that will simplify it further for me so this will become 1 minus of integration because less than 25 so now you can put from 0 to 25 <clears throat> of 1 divided by 40 e power of minus x by 40 dx so 1 minus 0 point four six four seven point. so already you have the value of this portion we have already calculated 1 by if you see here this portion we have already calculated which is nothing but 0 0.4647 so just put the value and subtract so 1 minus 0 0.4647 so that will be approximately how much Point zero point five three five three. so 53.5 percent chance that vehicle is trouble free for at least 25,000 kilometer now third part is between 1600 to 32 16,000 to 32,000 kilometer so this will be probability of 16 less than x less than 32 16,000 to 32,000 in between so limit is straightforward 16 to 32 1 by 40 just the given pdf you put inside and integrate so as i've showed you here when you integrate the inner this part this portion completely when you integrate this portion 1 by 40 will come out and get cancels out so whatever the value you will get minus sign here so i will just take that directly so if anyone has doubt there we can ask you so when you integrate this part you will get minus of e power minus x by 40 from the limit 16 to 32 if anyone has doubt in this portion please let me know <clears throat> so you can now put the limits so this will be e power of minus 32 by 40 minus of lower limit is minus 16 by 40 so this will become e power of minus 16 by 40 plus and then minus of minus 32 by 40 so e power you can calculate from the calculator What is the quick value? Anyone can give me the answer for this. <clears throat> Sixteen by forty. So e power minus answer. So this this is something zero point six seven. Zero three minus thirty two by forty. So shift E minus answer. So this will be zero point double four nine three. So zero point six seven zero three minus zero point double four nine three. Approximately zero point two two one. So vehicle is trouble free between 16,000 kilometers to 32,000 is approximately 22.1%. Any doubt in this problem, please let me know. Portion. The length of telephone conversation in, in a booth has been exponentially distributed and found on an average to be five minutes. 
find the probability that a random call made from booth and less than five minutes and between five and ten minutes. So let us understand the problem statement first. <clears throat> the length of the telephone conversation in a booth has been exponentially distributed. They've already given that it is exponential distribution of the conversation happening in the telephone booth. On an average, average is five minutes. So if one person entering in the telephone booth, on an average is speaking for five minutes. So find the probability that a random call which has made from the booth and less than five minutes and between five to ten minutes. So question is straightforward. So in this case, as we know that our distribution is something like this, alpha e power of minus alpha x and zero when x is greater than equal to zero and otherwise. We don't know that what is alpha value in this case. So we have to first find the alpha value because we have to first find the PDF so that we can start answering the probabilities. So how to find the alpha value? So we know that the mean, which is equal to one by alpha for exponential distribution. So mean value they have already given us five minutes, which is equal to five minutes. So which implies I can take one by alpha is equal to five. So then what will happen to alpha? Alpha becomes one divided by five. So whenever the average value will be given to you, just put the value in the mean, average means mean, and mean of ex, uh, exponential distribution is one by alpha. So one by alpha becomes the average value which is given. So one by alpha is equal to five. So alpha becomes one divided by five. So now in that case, your f of x becomes one divided by five e power minus x by five when x is greater than equal to zero and zero otherwise. So now this is the PDF. Now, once you have got the PDF, we can answer the question. So what we have, we have to find the probability that the call made is and less than five minutes. So straightforward, you have to just find the probability of X less than five, which is equal to integration from zero to five, one divided by five e power of minus X by five. <clears throat> into dx. So straightforward integration. So this is one by five. So integration of e power of minus x by five and denominator will get minus one by five. And this will be zero to five. So this get cancels out. So this will become minus of e power of minus x by five from the limit zero to Five. So just put the value e power of minus five by five is minus one minus e power of zero is one. So when you multiply minus inside, it will become one minus e power of minus one. So which is approximately 0 0.6321. 63, 0.6321. So any doubt in this section, please let me know. Second portion is between five and 10 minutes. So next will be your probability of five less than X less than 10. So this will be between five to 10. Your PDF is one by five E power of minus X by five DX. So one second when you integrate this, we'll get minus of E power minus X by five as we have done here. Only limit is changing. So 5 to 10 is the limit you will get. So what is the answer? <clears throat> e power minus 10 by 5 and minus of E power minus 5 by 5.
minus is also there outside. So when you put the minus inside, this will become e power of minus one minus e power of minus two. So just calculate this with calculator. So approximately, so I will get zero point two three two five as the answer. So if any doubt in this particular problem, please let me know. <clears throat> any doubt in this, guys? <clears throat> any doubt in the exponential distribution problem? No doubts. <clears throat> if any doubt is there, please put in the comment section. So there's a third problem, which I will leave you as an assignment, a similar problem. This I have put it in assignment sheet. It will come to know the similar problem. The sales per day in a shop is exponentially distributed with an average sale amount in rupees 100. And net profit is 8%. So find the probability that the net profit is 8%. And find the probability that the net profit exceeds rupees 30 on two consecutive days. So in this particular problem, what do you have to do basically? You have to find the first PDF. Right? So to find the PDF, you have to find the alpha. And in this case, one part they mentioned that there, uh, there is a profit of 808%. 8%. So if A is the amount, on that amount you have 8 by 100, 8%, which is rupees 30. This portion they have given. So anyway, this part I will leave it to you for assignment. You try this out. If you won't get it, tell me I will do it. But I want for time being, you have to try this question. So let us next come back to the last portion, normal distribution. This is a normal distribution table. So let us answer a basic question of this portion. All right. So we're dealing with normal distribution function. So all the question I have in this question I have given in terms of Z. So what is the probability of Z greater than 1.14? Using the normal distribution table, you have to answer me this question directly. So what I've told you, whenever you have something like this, draw a rough normal distribution graph and plot the Z value. So Z is positive 1.14, so that will be somewhere here, 1.14. And you want greater than value. So you want which value? You want this particular value. So the right hand side, curve is almost, you know, this entire curve is 0 0.5 and you have to subtract this portion. So you will get the probability of this particular tip. All right. So how to answer this? This will be 0 0.5, which is right hand side area minus area of 1.14. Now, can you tell me the answer for this? Those who do not have calculator, this is a probability table with you. Use the table and tell me the answer. So what is the value of 1.14? So 1.14 means 1.1 you have to check here. And then 1.14 you have to check here. So what is the 1.14 value? 1.14 value is 0 0.3729. You, you can also find by the calculator as I have told you. So this will become 0 0.5 minus 0 0.37 how much 3729 so just subtract this so this is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3729 what is the probability 0 
one two seven one. This is the probability. What about next one? Probability of z less than minus zero point three six. So when you plot this roughly, so minus value will be here. So this is your minus zero point three six. So less than means which value you are asking? Less than minus zero point three six. Which value? This value. <clears throat> so for this also you have again left hand side area is zero point five, and you have to subtract this from this portion. So this will be zero point five minus area of zero point three six. So what is the value of zero point three six? Let us quickly check from the table. So we have zero point three here, and then six somewhere here. So zero point three six value is zero point one four zero six. Zero point one four zero six. Zero point one four zero six. Okay. So this is zero point five minus zero point one four zero six. What is the answer? Zero point three five nine four is the answer. Now I'm adding one more problem here. What is the probability of um, let's say minus two less than z less than two? So when you plot this. Approximately, we are finding the value between minus two and two. This probability we are finding. So, how you find this particular value? Any idea? Anyone? Whenever you have same value between left tail and right tail. Because it's a normal distribution table, so when you fold this part, when when you fold this particular portion, the left when you put it on this, it will exactly map on this particular area. I mean, this area is same as this area, right? So we are finding in between. So what we have to do, whenever the value is same, you have to just write that two times of area of two. Always remember, whenever you have probability of minus a less than z less than a. We write this as two times area of A because when you fold this and bring this this side, it will automatically map same. So we can just find the two times of that area. So when you find the two times of this area, can you tell me the answer now? Two times what is the area of two from the table? The value of two is zero point four seven seven two. Zero point four seven seven two. Zero point four seven seven two. So how much? Four seven seven two. Approximately zero point nine five double four. So any doubt in this? How to identify the probabilities given in Z form? Just roughly draw that. Check which area you are finding, and area value. This area value you find out from the normal distribution table. This table, or from the calculator, anything is fine. All right. So <clears throat> let me quickly do one problem on this, and then we'll wind up. Another problem is similar to that. <clears throat> The weight of ball bearing proved in a certain factory are normally distributed <coughs> with mean 0.5 newtons and standard deviation of 0.002 newtons. So find the percentage of ball bearing produced with weights less than 0.498 newtons 
more than 0.501 newtons between 0.4995 and this 0.5005 newtons so let me re let me tell you whenever we are finding the probabilities whenever we are finding the probability of normal distribution this part i have also told in the previous class as well you have to introduce z is equal to x minus mu by sigma which we call that as standard normal what variate all right whenever you are finding the because we will write the probability in terms of x so this x i want to convert to z because i have the normal distribution table for z value we have z values that is the reason we will introduce always standard normal variate before so anyway so from here we have the mean value given as 0.5 and we have standard deviation value directly given as 0.002 So now we have to find the probability of these three. So we have the values called as 4.9, 0.498, 0.501, and something. So using this z value formula for different different x, we will find the z first initially itself. So what is the first portion? We are finding the probability of x less than 0.498. So when you put this value here, put x equal to 0.498 here. So this will become 0.498 minus mean value is 0.5 and sigma value is 0.002. What is the z you have? You will get 0.498 minus 0.5 divided by 0.002. So z value is minus one. So what does what does imply? This is equivalent of finding the probability of z less than minus one. So this portion I can calculate because I have z values, the normal values. But this portion I cannot calculate directly. So now you have z less than minus one. I have told you how to find. So just plot this. So minus one will somewhere here. Less than value is this portion. So again, I have to do 0.5 minus of this area. So this will be 0.5 minus area of one. <clears throat> so what is the value of one? Let us check from normal distribution table. So the value of one is 0.3413. So just substitute there. So this will be. 0.5 minus 0.3413. So the answer is 0.5 minus. Okay, so this is 0.1587. So probability of x less than 0.498 newton is 15% approximately. Now similarly. What's the next portion we have more than 0.501. All right. So probability of x more than 0.501. So this also you have to find z now. So z will be 0.501, which is x minus mean divided by sigma. So z becomes just calculate 0.501. Minus 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.002. So z is 0 0.5. So this implies probability of z should be greater than 0 0.5. You have to calculate. So when you roughly plot this value is somewhere here. Greater means this value you are finding. So once again, 0 0.5 minus of this area you have to find. 0 0.5 minus area of 0 0.5. So what is the value of 0 0.5? Let us check from the table. 
uh, 0.5 value is 0 0.1915. So just substitute there. So this becomes 0 0.5 minus 0 0.1915. So when you subtract your answer is 0 0.3085. So 30.8% approximately that uh, ball bearing is more than 0 0.501. Can you answer this question now between 0 0.4995 to 5005 quickly? So the probability of 0 0.4995 less than x less than 0 0.5005. So what is the z value for this? So z value for both you have to find. So first you put z x equal to 0 0.4995. 4995 minus mean divided by 0 0.002. And also you put this upper limit also. So now x becomes 0 0.5005 minus mean divided by standard deviation. So what is the value of this? 0.4995 minus 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.002 minus 0 0.25. And what is the z value here? 0 0.5005 minus 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.002. So this will be 0 0.25. So the probability becomes minus 0 0.25 less than z less than 0 0.25. You can see the value is same. So this is straightforward two times of area 0 0.25 so what is the value of 0 0.25 we have to find from the table so 0 0.25 0 0.25 somewhere here 0 0.0987 so this will be Two times zero point zero nine eight seven. So, <clears throat> so when you multiply this, you will get two into zero point zero nine. So it's coming around 0 0.1974. So 19.74% chance that the ball bearing weight lies between this to this. So any doubt in the normal distribution? Any doubt in this particular portion? Please let me know. So this is also the same type of problem. You have a test on some electric bulb, which is done on 2000 electric bulb. So it is normal distributed. The mean they have already given. So here also you have to introduce Z is equal to X minus mu by sigma. So here mean is given to you 2040 and standard deviation is given at 60 hours. This value they have given. So whenever you find the probabilities, you have to substitute the X values here and find the Z value. Okay. The only change is that whatever the probability you will get, don't forget to multiply that with 2000 because the test has been done from, test has been done on 2000 bulbs. So whatever the probabilities we have got here like this, in the last, just have to multiply this with 2000 in the next problem. That's it. So what is the total amount of bulb run 
for these many hours that but that we want to find estimate the number of bulbs they are asking the number of bulbs to be estimated so the number of bulbs to be estimated will be out of 2000 only so first we have we will find the probability that the bulb will run between this many hours so how many bulb will run more than 2150 will be calculated when you multiply by 2000 okay you try this out because it's almost 9 30. so if you have any particular doubts you can always try to reach me personally or anyway any more okay so that's it i have done for the today's okay guys thank you so much if anything is there uh, please reach to me i will clear all your doubts Thank you for the polling. <clears throat>